Good morning. Good morning, family. Good morning. New mercies today. Amen. It's a new day, a new beginning. Hallelujah. New opportunities. Good morning. We certainly appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for coming on. Amen. We have been anticipating your arrival. Hallelujah. God bless you, Karen and Kasha. God bless you, Quince. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. We, we love you, value you, and appreciate the gift that you are. Amen. God bless you, Emily. Blessings, Omar. Blessings to you. Amen. Yes. Lifted hands. Thank you so much for inviting your followers. Thank you for sharing. Yes. Thank you for sounding the alarm. Hallelujah. I tell you, there's nothing like midnight prayer because it gives us the opportunity to reflect um, even on the day before and everything that God has done and how you made it through and you're, you're starting a new day. Amen. No matter what happened yesterday or what didn't happen yesterday, today is a new day. Amen. It's a new day. Um, and so God is going to do some new things in your life. Amen. You're going to experience um, some new things. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes. New things. It's time for new things. Yes. Hallelujah. Some of you are believing God for new houses, new cars, new marriages, new relationships. Amen. New things. It pleases God, amen, to know that um, when we are blessed and we are walking in purpose, amen, hallelujah, God bless you, yes, everyone, everyone, God is increasing our capacity, amen, hallelujah. God. Whatever you need to believe. Hallelujah. Aren't you grateful that you don't have to carry your burdens? Amen. Mm. Praise God. Welcome, Joanna. Welcome. God bless you, Prophet hey, Carlos. Yes. I gotta give you a call, Carlos. Yes. Hallelujah. Trying to get some work done. Whatever yes. you need Georgia Phillips, blessings and welcome. Yes, welcome. Yes, God is releasing miracles, that's for sure. He's releasing miracles. God bless you, Kim. KPs, thank you for joining us. We appreciate you. Yes, sharing love. God bless you. Yes. Grateful, grateful. Amen. That God has, has truly been with us. Grateful that He didn't give up on us. Trucks and Kaikos. Yes. I like pink, yes. I used to be just, you know, kind of like black and white, navy and white, and so just getting into some different um, colors. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Different colors. Yes, thank you. Hallelujah. God bless you, Ashley. Welcome. Yes, praying you're enjoying yourself. Hallelujah. God bless you, Shay. God bless you, Lisa Coleman, Diana Harrison. Blessings to you. Nicole Garrett. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. The song is um, um, the, the Good Shepherd by um, Psalmist Rain. Psalmist Rain, R A I N E. Um, you can certainly find her on YouTube. That's where we're playing it from. The entire album is there. You can certainly get it through um, iTunes. Yes, purchase it through iTunes. A powerful, powerful ministry um, that she has. True worship and prophetic worship. 
Yes. Oh, Hallelujah. Yes, Good morning, Barbara. 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 Yes. Tangi, we bless you. Thank you so much for blessing us as well. So excited about what you're doing. Uh, how many people got a chance to see uh, John? I, I, I left it, it's upstairs, amen. Wow, yes, really blessed. Okay. God bless you, first timer. Can we just welcome our first timer on Periscope? Amen. Just letting them know that they are certainly welcome and we appreciate them so very much. Yes, first timer. God bless you. Thank you for being a part of our family. Amen. Once you come on the first time, you're stuck with us. You can't go anywhere. Amen. We are here to ensure that you receive everything that you're believing God for. Amen. Yes. And uh, keep talking. Some exciting things are happening and taking place. Um, as we always say, um, because of you, because of your faithfulness, because um, of your support to us, Lejeune and Valorico Ministries. So many things have taken place um, in our lives, and um, we're just so happy to share that with you. Of course, as we begin, um, as God began to release the word suddenly, we had no idea um, what it was going to turn into. We were just being obedient to do what God told us to do with the midnight cry. And so because of you, you, were, you, you stood with us and you grabbed hold of the word, and um, and then the book was released. The book was birthed. The T-shirts, the um, you know, and so forth. The oil, and you you all begin to just take part with us as we begin to consecrate ourselves, as we begin to fast and pray um, from January. And so we started out with a 21 day fast. It went into 40 days, and we're still at it. Amen. We had a break in there, and so 21 days prior to our first suddenly conference. God said, go on another fast. And many of you are joining us. You're praying with us. You encourage us. You, you call, you text, and uh, email us. And we're so appreciative to that. There are many, many countless of testimonies, amen, that um, have come forth that people are experiencing suddenly. And so we believe that our, our purpose of what one of the reasons why God told us to do this is to build your faith, to get you to the place that you're able to receive the very things that God has spoken spoken to you and what you're believing God for. Um, God said in the beginning of this year that this is the year of fulfillment, that he's fulfilling his word, every prophetic promise that he is, uh, that has been spoken over your life, that has been sent by God. God said, I'm, I'm moving on your behalf. I'm manifesting my word and I'm doing it suddenly. And, um, and so as we began to get the book and you guys were so patient with us, um, because again, when the suddenly hit, we were not, uh, as prepared for the suddenly as we had hoped to be. Um, but thank you all for your patience. Um, it is surely our utmost, um, priority is to make sure that if you're ordering products that you get exactly what you ordered. Um, and so we're grateful um, for your patience, but being able to work with us and um, as we get those orders out and, and everything. So we want you to um, listen. I'll come around. I'll hold it. You hold it. Okay. Mm -hmm. She's going to. Going to. Oh, no. There we go. Okay. Let me see if it's up high enough. Okay, there it is. Yep, hold on. And Periscope, and then here we go. Okay, go ahead, play it. Are you ready for your suddenly season? Are you ready to see breakthrough in every area of your life? Are you ready to walk in your God-given purpose and fulfill your destiny? So uh, we wanted to show you guys that video, and uh, we wanted to make sure that you got a chance to see it. We thought that it was, uh -oh. we thought that it was uh, a blessing. Mm -hmm. And so there's two more that's coming out very soon, uh, sometime this week. 
And um, so it's just amazing just about that the suddenly season. Right. Now I want to give you a very quick, uh, very quick overview or listen to the uh, a part of the you heard me this morning on the earlier scope. But I want to I want you to hear my wife. Do red light be turned green suddenly. Let favor suddenly be my portion in Jesus' name. Let every closed door be opened suddenly in Jesus' name. Let every tear be dried up suddenly in Jesus' name. Let my family members be saved suddenly in Jesus' name. Let my children be saved suddenly. Let suddenly come upon me, overtake me, and consume me. Let my faith arise suddenly and speak for me. Let my perspective suddenly change. I will see what God sees. I will say what he said about me in my situation. Let hope suddenly be restored in Jesus' name. Let deposit suddenly be my portion. Let every plot, plan, and scheme of the enemy against my life be rendered null and void suddenly. Let my prophetic flow suddenly catch fire. Let my gifts be suddenly activated. Let the church have a burden suddenly for souls. Let love suddenly destroy hate and anger. Let a love revolution suddenly be released in the earth. Let every empty place in my life and heart suddenly be filled with the love of God. Let evangelism be strong in the earth suddenly. Let strong revelatory preaching return to the pulpit suddenly. Let unity come suddenly to the body of Christ. Let every wall and barrier to unity be brought down suddenly. Let the peace that passeth all understanding suddenly overtake every worry in my life. Let well, so I'm excited. I'm excited. What do you guys think about that? Anybody, anybody have any comments? What do you guys think about the, uh, the videos, the CDs, the conferences? And let me tell you something. The interesting thing about all of this is all of this was birthed by you guys. Yes. You guys were the ones who helped us to birth all of these things that are coming. Yes, this can be purchased. It'll, the, that's going to be on the website. The two new oils. We have the oil of breakthrough that's coming and the king's anointing oil that's coming out. Uh, we've already got them ready. We're just waiting on the website to be updated. And then we have a website that's specifically dedicated to you all. And then uh, it's going to be uh, suddenlyseason.com. And, um, and so it's just going to be amazing. Yes, we will have them in Indianapolis with us next week. We'll have the CDs. We'll have, be, have the, uh, the new uh, versions of the book. We will have uh, the, uh, the oils, all three oils. We'll have the shirts. We'll have everything in Indianapolis with us next week. Amen. So you guys are ready to pray. Uh, well, I'm, I'm excited about what God is doing. Yes. And uh, yes, yeah, suddenlyseason.com. That'll be one of the new websites that we're birthing mm -hmm. uh, in this new season. And so just amazing. Thank you guys for sharing. Everybody that shared uh, just the other day, let me, let me say this. Just the other day, there were about six people who won uh, uh, free products because they shared. Mm -hmm. So you just never know when God is going <laughs> to unction us to... Uh, yes. To give you something free because you shared, amen. And, and you guys share anyway, so that's not yes. uh, that's not a gimmick or a trick to get you to share. Uh, but we do appreciate and we do reward awesome and, and amazing behavior and uh, and the support of what we do as a ministry, amen. Right, amen. So we want to pray tonight. We want to pray because we we were just talking about that that um, you know that amazingly when it's your season. There's really nothing that can stop you. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. When you really know and begin to walk in your true purpose and, 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 and nothing, absolutely nothing can stop you. When God manifests his word, it, it, it silences every other voice. You know, one one act of God will silence every other voice. It will change your situation. It will change how you look at things, how you view things. Amen. Even how you see yourself when you're in your suddenly season mm. and God begins to open doors. He begins to uh, bring forth the opportunities. He begins to connect you with different people. And you look, you say, my God, this is my suddenly season. I'm walking in and I'm experiencing it right now. Mm. Yes. Hallelujah. 
So it, it, it is, um, you know, many of you have had ma uh, many testimonies of what God has done, whether it's been healing, whether it's been breakthrough, whether it's been open doors, um, whether it's uh, been business and finances. You <laughs> understand that God is faithful concerning his word. And so even if what you have been believing God for has not manifested as of today, listen, don't stop. As we've been saying, continue to persevere because it's on the way. It's at hand. It's imminent. It means that it is right there close to you. And so you can't afford to give up. You've cried too many tears. You had to sacrifice too much. Amen. And so this is the time and the season that God wants to and is, is manifesting his word concerning your life. And so when um, the fullness of time comes, when the manifestation of everything that God has spoken comes to pass, then nothing will be able to stop you. Amen. Doubt won't be able to stop you. Nothing Thing that the enemy sent against your life, sent against your suddenly, because even as we talked about just a few days ago, you know when your suddenly is close, because if the warfare gets greater, you know that it's close. And so because, because of that, because whatever plot, plan, or scheme of the enemy was sent out against you, it didn't work. Amen. You're now walking in your suddenly season. Amen. There, there is a scripture, Isaiah 14 and 27. Mm. It says, uh, New International Version, for the Lord Almighty has purposed and who can thwart it? Uh, the, the, uh, let me see, in the New Living Translation, it said, the Lord of Heaven's armies has spoken, who can change his plans? Yes. English Standard Version, for the Lord of Hosts has purposed and who will annul it? Uh, King James, the Lord of Hosts has purposed and who shall annul it? Um, uh, let me give you another version that I really like. Um, uh, matter of fact, the, uh, the New Heart English uh, Bible says, for the Lord of hosts has planned and who can stop it? Yes. And so when God plans something, uh, nobody and nothing can stop it. Right. Uh, even, uh, I think it's Romans 8 and 31, if God be for us, who can be against us? So you got to know when, when God uh, declares your suddenly season is coming, mm -hmm. then there is literally no one and no one that can turn it around, that yes. can change that. Nobody can change God's mind. Amen. Mm -hmm. When God gets ready to bless you, there's nothing that can stop it. When his mm -hmm. hand is upon you, uh, you can you can just go ahead and shout the victory now. Mm -hmm. You don't have to wait till the battle is over yes. because you know that God, the God of all the earth, the God who is in charge of mm -hmm. all the heaven Heavenly host is uh is 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 amen is yours amen yes, and so absolutely. we're believing God for amazing things we're trusting Him uh, to begin to move for you like never before Jesus. we're trusting Him that every uh, closed door is open every red light turns green that everything has been held up is being released yes. and that this is your suddenly season amen? amen if you just came on come on share for us one more time because we're getting ready to pray and we're getting ready to believe God for miracles and supernatural things just amazing testimonies have been coming forth uh, on the last couple of days as a matter fact I've been seeing things uh, in the group and some people that have been posting in the group and so their yes. posts have been just amazing in what God has been saying and so I get excited about that I get excited about God answering prayer because we don't want to just pray and we don't want our prayers to just sound good mm -hmm. and sound as if though uh, they're anointed and we sound anointed and yes. we bring chills to you or something like that. Get You get goosebumps. That's not what, what we want to do. We want to pray and you see the manifestation of the things that we're praying for. Yes. And so that's where our heart is. That's where our belief is. That's where, uh, that's where we're putting everything that we got into that now is your season to be able to see amazing things. Even somebody was saying that they were on the scope last night. And, and as they, we begin to pray, God began to do amazing things. Yes. Amen. So we're going to pray tonight and we're going to believe God uh, for just amazing things tonight uh, because we believe that God is the God of the suddenlies. Amen. So, Father, we just thank you. Thank you we Jesus. thank you for your strength, God. We thank you uh, for your anointing. We thank you for your power that's manifesting in the lives of these, your sons and your daughters tonight. Yes. And we thank you, God, that you're moving by your power, by your spirit, God. It's not by our power nor by our might, but by your spirit that you are moving. And so, Father, we thank you, God, that every petition, God, that your sons and your daughters are, are requesting on this scope and on this Facebook Live, and even those that are watching later on by YouTube, we declare, Lord God, that you're going to do amazing things in their lives. God, yes. that you're literally changing things before their eyes, mm. that things that looked as if though they were held up, looked as if though they were challenging, looked as if though the storm were forming against them, God, that you are now moving for them, God. Yes, that financial matter. Yes, every situation, every circumstance that concerns them, everything that's on their 
their mind is on your mind. Everything that's on their heart is on your heart, Father. I thank you that your word declares that if we delight ourselves in you, God, yes. that you will give us the desires of our hearts. So we stand in the authority of your word. And we know that even according to Isaiah 54 and 17, God, that no weapon formed against us can prosper. And every tongue that rises against us in judgment, God, we shall utterly condemn. For this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and our righteousness of you. We know that your word cannot return void. Yes. Oh, Heavenly Father, that it will not return void. It has not returned void. That even according to Numbers uh, 23 and 19, your word declares that you're not a man that you should lie. Neither yes. the son of a man that, should, that you should repent. Glory. That if you said it, shall you not do it? And if you spoke it, shall you not make it good? Mm. God, we thank you yes. even now. Okay, according to Philippians 4 and 6, uh, verse uh, 4, 6 through 8, God, that your word even declares that we should be anxious for nothing, but in yes. everything through prayer and supplication, that we should let our requests be known unto you. And and uh, and the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall guard our hearts and our minds mm. through Christ Jesus. We thank you, God, even according to John 14 and 14, that the scripture says that if we ask anything according to Jesus' name, oh God, that you would grant it, God, that the Father would receive the glory. So we thank you that you're moving now by your power and by your spirit. We yes. thank you, God, that even according to the authority of your word in Mark chapter 11, verse 21, uh, God, where it says, have faith in God, uh, and that if we say unto the mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast in the sea, it shall not doubt in our hearts, but shall believe the things that we say should come to pass, then we will have the things that we say. So Father, we thank you that God, we can accurately decree your word and declare your word, and we can trust in your word, God, because your word was around from the very foundations mm -hmm. of the earth, and we understand that your word, O oh, Heavenly Father, has never failed. Your word, mm -hmm. it's illegal for your word to go out into the earth and come back and return void. Your yes. word also says, oh God, in 2 Chronicles 20 and 20, God, that if we believe in you, that we'll be established, and if we believe in your prophets, then we'll prosper. Yes. So Father, we thank you, Lord God, that even as we receive these prophetic words, even as they go out, O oh, Heavenly Father, that there is power in the words, even as John said, I mean, as Jesus said in John 6 and 63, that the words that Jesus spoke, that they were spirit and that they were life. Yes. Even according to Proverbs 18 and 21, the death and life is in the power yes. of the tongue and they that yes. love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So Father, we stand on the authority of your word and My we thank God. you that you're manifesting your word yes. in our life. God, we thank you that we can stand on the authority of your scriptures, mm. God, and that God, you will move God by your power. God, that there is nothing that can stop it. God, if you decree it and if you declare it yes. and if, even if we decree it and declare it, God, it's going to come to pass. So Jesus. Father, I thank you now that each one of these, your sons and your daughters that's on this power, this Periscope, this Facebook Live, this YouTube video, God, that are watching it, oh God, mm. that you're moving for them, God, you're moving even as you said in Luke chapter 18, when the, 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 the men ought to always pray yes. and God not to faint, God. Yes, you God. said because yes, when you God. when you come, you want to find faith on the earth. And so, Jesus. Father, even as that widow woman, God, even as she began to believe you, God, to, to, to vindicate her, My we God. pray, Lord God, that these your sons and your daughters, God, can stand and believe mm. you to be vindicated, God, of every situation, every circumstance. Even your word declares, God, that when the enemy is stolen, when he's found out, he's got to repay sevenfold. So God. I thank you, God, Glory for sevenfold. God. Uh, blessings Glory upon these, God. your sons and your daughters. Come God, I thank on, you yes. for the hundredfold blessing. I thank you for the thousandfold blessing. Mm. God, I thank you for the millionfold blessing. I thank you that your word says that you're Jesus. not unfaithful to forget our labor and love and how we've ministered to your saints and yet do minister. God, we thank you, God, that there is a book of remembrance that's laid up for them, God, yes. in heaven. And God, you're answering them, God, based on that look, uh, the book of remembrance, God, that you're moving for them now. Even as you remembered Hannah, God, and you unleashed her mm. wound, oh God, and caused her to produce again. Even as you did it for Sarah, God, even in her old age, God, I thank you that you're doing it for these, your sons oh and your God. daughters. Yes. God, we thank you, Lord God, that every situation, God, even as you remembered even Noah, God, and caused the waters to abate, God, caused them to subside. We thank you, Lord God, that every yes. situation and even as the water symbolized trouble and it symbolized, oh God, even judgment, we thank you, God, that now you're moving in the lives of your people, God, and you are sending, oh Heavenly Father, the wind to blow away mm -hmm. all the trouble and all the storms, God, of yes. your people, Father. Yes. We thank you, God, that you're remembering us, God. You're causing, oh, you're, you're looking in your book of remembrance, God, yes. and you're noticing, God, that there are things, God, that some of your people have not been mm. blessed for and things that they've done. And God, your word declares that you're not unfaithful for, uh, to forget. And so, Father, we thank you, God, even as you recompense Ruth, oh God, and you saw yes. her heart and you saw her character, God, that you're recompensing your sons and your daughters mm. on yes, tonight, God. God. You're moving for them. God, yes. you, we know that we can trust you. We know that they can trust you because you are the God of the suddenness. Even yes. as the woman with the issue of blood had depressed through the storm, 
storm mm -hmm. and press through the trials. Father, yes. I speak to these, your sons and your daughters, and I declare that their press is not for nothing. God, that even as they have pressed, even as they have pushed through storms, God, and even if they've come through hard trials, Hallelujah. and even as they've come through things that they thought that they would not make yes. it through, Father, we yes. declare now that they're being rewarded, God, yes. and they are being, oh God, recompensed, oh Heavenly Father, yes. even for their faithfulness and even for their commitment. We are releasing it unto yes. them now in the name of Jesus. God, we believe now that you're moving by your spirit, moving by your power, and releasing unto them that which they have a desire mm -hmm. for, even health for their families, even yes. as your word declared. If there be any sick among us, God, let us call for the elders of church. Let them lay hands anointed with oil in the name of Jesus, and they should be yes. healed. And so, Father, even as you prayed for the centurion servant, God, we know that there is no distance in the spirit. So, Father, we thank you now, God, that we can pray for healing for these, your sons and your daughters. We know that, Lord God, you are God who is able to do, as I said, nothing but uh, do everything but fail. And so, yes. God, we thank you, Lord God, even for this young lady who's saying she wants her health restored, God. We know that you are able to do it. God, your word declares, God, according to Ephesians 3 and 20, that you're able to do exceeding See. abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Mm -hmm. And so, Father, we stand on the authority of your word and we trust your word and we believe your word yes. and we know that you cannot fail, you will not fail, and you have not failed. Oh, God, and so we stand and we believe you and we trust you. Mm -hmm. And, God, we put our faith in you. We put our firmly relying trust, God, Hallelujah. because we know that you know that we know that we know that no matter what it looks like, no matter yes. what it feels like, yes. that God, you are moving for yes. us. Yes, cancer is eradicated. Lupus yes. is gone. Every sickness Jesus. is defeated. We pray now even God goes My into your God. bloodline and begins to eradicate every symptom, every sign, everything that the enemy put there and every disease and every spirit of infirmity. It must go now and it must loose you in the yes. name of Jesus. And we thank you now that you're, that you're being strong and that you're being built up and that you are Jesus. being caused to be able to triumph in every Hallelujah. area of your life. Everything that comes against mm. you and everything that comes at you, we declare that it will fall and it will not prosper. Amen. Even as the word declares that no weapon formed against you shall prosper, we declare now that every weapon that's been formed against you, against your health, against mm. your marriage, against your family, against your ministry, against everything that pertains to you, it cannot prosper. And My so we God. prophesy to you and we declare now that the winds of change are blowing in your direction, that God is beginning mm. to move in your situation and it's been beginning to turn in mm. your favor, even as Romans chapter 8, verse 28 says Jesus. that no, uh, that, that, that um, uh, Romans 8 and 28, uh, I, I all believe things. It, all things are working together for your good yes. because you are called, amen. You're called, you got to know that you're called, yes. you got to know that you love God, and yes. so all things are working together for yes. your good. And so we stand on the authority of the word of God oh and God. we declare that it's illegal, God, it is illegal, it is illegal Jesus. for the word of God not to work in yes. your life, amen. Yes. And for everything that's going on in your life, that anything could prosper against you. And so we declare mm. even now, even as we just said, amen, that all things are working together for your good. Amen. And that healing is your portion. Amen. That God is moving like never before in your situation in Jesus name. Amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. Glory to your name, Father God. I just hear the Lord said, I am the God that healeth thee. I'm the God that delivers you. God said, I came to deliver. I came to set you free. I'm removing every obstacle. I'm removing every hindrance. I'm removing and tearing down every wall that has encapsulated you, that has kept you in a place of standstill. Some of you feel like you've been in a standstill, but God said, you're about to accelerate. I'm causing you to move. I'm causing you to move forward. I'm causing you to run. I'm causing you to walk. I'm causing you to get to the place of your destination. There is a destination, said the Lord, and I'm calling you to that place that I have already ordained for you, the place of purpose, the place of wealth, the place of more than enough, the place of wholeness, the place of healing. But it's going to take you to press. It's going to take you to continue to worship. It's going to take you to continue to praise me like never before. You've got to bless me at all times, said the Lord. You, the praise has to continuously be in your mouth. You have to make your boasting in me says God the humble shall hear thereof and they shall be glad you've got to know what your weapons are you've got to know how to fight against the enemy because you're not fighting against flesh and blood but you're fighting against principalities and powers and wickedness in high places there is there has been an, an unleashing an attack against the body of Christ but you've got to arise you've got to arise in the power and the authority that I place on the inside of you you've got to know my word you've got to know what my word declares over your life you've got to know at, at what the word says concerning you and how you can use the word to fight against the enemy because it is the sword and it's going to cut it's going to cut away those things that have plagued you, it's going to cut away depression, it's going to cut away uh, every sickness and disease my word is alive, 
I sent my word to you, said the Lord, and my word is healing you now. It is brought forth healing and restoration in your life, in your home, in your marriage. Speak my word over your marriage. Speak my word over your children. Speak my word over your business. Speak my word over your ministry. Speak my word over everything that concerns you, every family member, even every, every enemy. Speak my word because everything has to line up to my word. Heaven and earth may pass away, saith the Lord, but my word will stand forever. Speak the word. Stand on the word. When you've done all to stand, stand therefore. Don't waver. Don't look to the left nor to the right. Don't allow the wind to move you. Don't allow the hurricane to move you. Don't allow the whirlwind to move you. Uh, don't allow what you see to move you. Don't allow what your senses perceive to move you. But you've got to stand still and you've got to see the salvation of the Lord because I, saith the Lord, am the God that delivereth you. I'm come to deliver you. I've come to set you free. My anointing has been sent to you to remove every burden and to destroy every yoke, saith the Lord. I'm your, the anointing is on the inside of you. I have sent forth the anointing through my spirit as the Holy Spirit resides on the inside of you. It's going to begin to move in it, and there will be demonstration. And God said, it's time for demonstration in your life. It's time for you to go forth. It's time for you to demonstrate the word. It's time for you for the manifestation, the full manifestation of what has been proclaimed over your life, what you're believing for. No longer are you being in the place of just believing, but now you're coming to a place of receiving. God said, I am who, who I say that I am. Everything that I am, God says, I am, I am, I am. Everything you need, I am. Everything that you desire, the Lord says, I am, and I am performing my word. I am making sure that my word comes to pass in your life. I'm watching over my word. I see every situation. I see everything that you've gone through. I see what you're dealing with right now. My eyes are not heavy that I can't see. My ears, saith the Lord, are not, are not deaf that I can't hear you. I've heard you. I've heard your prayers. I've heard your cry and I've seen your tears. And God said, I've come down. I've come down in your situation. I've come to deliver you. I've come to set you free. Trust in me. In, trust in the name of the Lord. Trust in who he say he is because every name that God has been given, we've got to study the names of God. E even on tomorrow, even as even if you don't go to bed right away, begin to study the names of God. They are powerful and you're going to be able to understand who God really is by his name. Amen. He's Elohim. He's the most high God. He is Adonai. He is Lord and master over your life. My God, there is something about a name. And, and you know what? And one of the things that even God said to me just yesterday, and he said, I want you to ask the people and I may do that as a, a, a Facebook post. What is your name and what does your name mean? You got to know what your name means. And so when understanding someone's name, you, it, it tells you a lot about that person. So with the names of God, hallelujah, he wants you to know who he really is. You're going to find out who God is. You're going to be able to experience God in a different way when you address him by his name. When you address him as Jehovah Jireh, my God, he has no other, no other way but to bless you, but to provide for you in the name of Jesus. When you address him and praise him and worship him for being Jehovah Rapha, everything in your body has to line up with the healer because he is the God that healeth thee. Oh, hallelujah. He specializes. The God that you serve specializes in the impossible. Men may look at it and say it's impossible, but with God, all things are possible in the name of Jesus. There is nothing too hard for God. There is nothing that he can't do. The only thing that God can't do is fail. He cannot fail. He cannot change. He cannot for, forsake you. He cannot leave you alone. My God, he can cannot lie. There are some things that God cannot do. And, and so it's concerning his word over your life. You've got to know who God really is. God is not moved by your circumstance. He's not moved by what the doctor said. He's not moved by what your bank account reads. He is not moved by what anything has come or anything that is, is you, you feel that is imminent upon your life. God is not moved. Heaven, glory to God, is not in an uproar because situations are going on in your life. Glory to God. Even now, uh, glory to God. Even as I begin to, to see Peter as he was in jail and there were other people that were praying for him and making intercession for him as he was in jail, as he was in this dark place, as he was in isolation, as he was put in a place that he had no business being because he was not guilty. Amen. But what did Peter do? He went to sleep and God is saying to you, go to sleep, lay down and go to sleep. You can sleep when everything is and you know everything is under control.
control. When you know you don't have to worry about anything, you can go to sleep. It's time for you to rest. It's time for you to go to sleep and, 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 and trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. Trust in everything that he has said to you. Go to sleep. It's time to rest. It's time to go to sleep because it's going to, it's going to begin to show you. It's going to begin to, to, to allow you to know, you know what, God, I, I'm so sorry that I even worried about that. I'm sorry because when you're suddenly comes, let me tell you, nothing is going to be able to stop you. Nothing, no thing, no one, no circumstance, nothing, no attack, no warlock, no witch, no hex, no curse, glory to God, no burden, nothing will be able to stop you when your suddenly comes in Jesus name. Amen. Somebody ought to say that it's my Jesus. suddenly season. I'm yes. unstoppable. Ah, you got to yes. put that in your spirit. Unstoppable. I'm unstoppable. Unstoppable. Amen. You are unstoppable yes. because of God yes. before you. Who can be My against God. you? Yes. You're unstoppable. Mm. Amen. Thank mm. you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank, for, thank you for decreeing Ooh, that. Thank you for declaring that. God. Wherever you are, just open up Jesus. your mouth. Amen. And say, I'm unstoppable. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm unstoppable. I believe I'm unstoppable. My God. It's my sudden season. I am unstoppable. unstoppable. Nothing can stop you. Nothing can hinder you. Yes. Nothing can slow you down. If God Jesus. be for you, nobody can be against you. Oh, Amen. Hallelujah. You got to just decree it over yourself. I was looking yes. in uh, and plug into the power of uh, a prayer. And I was looking at some of these scriptures, amen, and uh, was it um, John, uh, 1 John 4 and 4, greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Romans yes. 8 and 37, I am more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. 1 Corinthians 15, 57, but thanks be unto God who gives me the victory. Um, 2 Peter 1 and 4, for by these I, he has granted to me his precious and magnificent promises in order that by them I might become a partaker of his divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Amen. Yes. Uh, Ephesians 1 and 3, I have been blessed with every spiritual blessing. Colossians 2 and 10, in him I have been made complete. 2 Corinthians 5 and 21, he made him who no, knew no sin to be sin on my behalf mm. that I might become the righteousness of God in yes. Christ Jesus. Amen. Yes. Uh, Romans 3 and 24, I've been justified by his grace through the redemption, which is in Christ Jesus. Amen. Revelations 1 and 6, I have been made a king and a priest. Grace. Amen. Ephesians 2 and 10, I am complete in him. 1 Corinthians Jesus. 2 and 16, I have the mind of Christ. Amen. Romans 8 and 11, but if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in me, he who raised Christ from the dead will give uh, will give to my mortal body. Amen. He'll quicken my mortal body. Amen. Yes. Uh, amen. Acts 1 and 8, I receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon me. Power. Mark 16 and 7, and these signs shall follow me because I believe in the name of Jesus. I cast out devils. I speak with new tongues. Yes. I pick up serving, meaning demons. Uh, demons. If I drink any deadly poison, it shall not harm me. I lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Amen. Amen. Yes. First Corinthians three and twenty one. All things belong to me. First Corinthians one and thirty. By do, by uh, his doing, I am in Christ Jesus, who became uh, for me wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. Amen. Jesus. Galatians three thirteen and fourteen. I have been redeemed from the curse of the law yes. in order that the blessings of Abraham might come upon me. Mm. First John three and two. I am the beloved, a child of God. Amen. Yes. Uh, First Peter two and nine. But I am a chosen generation, a royal priest to it, a holy nation, his own people, his special people, amen, hallelujah, so I believe that if we get this Jesus. in our spirits, amen, yes. if we get this in our spirit, then what will happen is we'll begin to live and ah, we'll begin to confess to victorious God. things out of yes. our mouth, amen, we'll yes. begin uh, to confess amazing things out of our mouth and we'll begin to see that, amen, Isaiah 54 and 17, no weapon formed against me should prosper, yes. amen, amen, you, you got to know that, you got to believe that. You got to know that all things are working all together uh, uh, for your good. Amen. And so you got to know that you got to get that in your spirit. Yes. You got to get that in your heart. Amen. And so that nothing can stop that from you. Amen. Amen. I'm excited Praise about that. God. I am so excited Glory about what God. God is doing. Glory and, to God. Um, for those Glory of you who God. just came on, go back and listen to the first part. You'll get to hear uh, the, mm. the, uh, the declarations and confessions. Prayerfully, they'll be up on the website, the other videos, all the things. If you live anywhere near Indianapolis, Indiana, I want you to make sure that you meet us next Jesus. week in Indianapolis. We'll be ministering uh, there God. and the uh, the flyers on our page. If mm. you're not on uh, our YouTube page, all these videos go to our YouTube page. So make mm. sure that you go to YouTube 
and uh, look for Lejean and Valora Cole and uh, log in there and you can see all the old videos, all the old videos. Go back and look at them. Amen. Uh, then I want you to make sure that you go in and that you uh, sign up, that you uh, 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 connect with the group. It's my suddenly season. It's the same as the book. It's my suddenly season. Yes. Amen. Make sure that you get into that group because uh, I just put the video on that group. So if you haven't seen the video yet, go to that, go there and tell me what you think about the video uh, that we just that we just played. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so we thank you. Yes, I thank you for that. Cynthia New Day, pray for those financial <laughs> miracles for us so that we can be able to go to all the cities that we're called to go to and be a blessing to all the people that we're called to be uh, yes. a blessing to. Thank you for those. Even some of you sold today into our ministry. And so we thank you. We appreciate that. It means yes. the world to us. We love you guys. We appreciate you. And uh, we thank God for you. Keep praying that the, uh, the, the I know we've overwhelmed our web developer <laughs> and our graphic designer uh, because we have these new oils that are ready. They're ready. Uh, all uh, The name on the YouTube, again, please, is Lejean and Valora. Yes. Amen. Lejean and Valora Cole. So go to YouTube.com, Lejean and Valora Cole. Amen. Facebook, It's My Suddenly Season. Yes. Amen. And uh, even the oils. I'm telling you, keep anointing yourself. Keep on uh, anointing yourself. Yes. Amen. Keep anointing yourself. Keep on anointing yourself. Keep on declaring that it's your suddenly season. Yes. Keep believing that God uh, is going to do amazing miracles amazing. for you and through you and for you and by you. Anoint your children. Anoint your yes. husband. Anoint your vehicles. Anoint everything that pertains to you. Amen. Jesus. Anoint them in Jesus' name. Make declarations Jesus. over them. Release the oh, anointing of God over them. Jesus. Amen. Uh, I told you before, don't argue uh, with, with each other. Don't, don't fuss about stuff. Yes. Amen. Just anoint yes. one another. Just pray over each Amen. other. Just make declarations. Just speak positive yes. things. And watch God don't begin to change. Don't Amen. Complain, That's don't right. Condemn. That's right. Don't criticize, complain, or condemn. condemn. But just begin to decree the word of God over people, man. Yes. And uh, and believe for amazing God. things and trust God to do amazing God. things. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. You know, I was going to ask if um, if some of you, if you would like to, but those of you that have the book, those of you that have the book, find a particular thing in there that you that really stands out to you. It may be a, a specific declaration or decree or even a scripture. If you could write that, um, post that on your on your page and tag um, tag us in it along with the suddenly um, season group. It's my suddenly season group. If you could tag that, we would certainly, certainly appreciate that. And that is um, if you have a scripture or declaration or a decree that something that really stands out to you, um, go ahead and post that on your page and tag us in it. Um, that would, would, would truly, truly bless us. Um, um, we're just a lot of people are wanting to know and have asked, you know, the, of the different testimonies. We've been able to share some of the testimonies, um, but we certainly want you to take a, a specific passage um, from the book that really stands out and begin to post that. Thank you. Amen. Well, we love you guys. We're going to get out of here. <laughs> yes. And uh, we're going to get some rest for yes. tomorrow. Tomorrow, Wednesdays are always long days. Yes. And uh, we have Bible study at our church tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. But uh, we'll see you at 1 o'clock tomorrow. We're committed to being here with you and committed to being here for you. Yes. Uh, Christian Aguilar, I saw your order go in just the other day. And so it should be coming soon, Christian. Yes. Uh, Christine, I'm sorry, Christine. It should be coming mm -hmm. soon. And so uh, we, again, we thank God for you. Beverly, I see you all the way from Germany. All the yes, way from Germany. We, we bless get, we you. Going, we're getting there. Amen. We're coming. <laughs> we are coming. We, matter of fact, we're supposed to be coming to London to do a suddenly meeting. So I'm going to try to stop through Germany and see you. Amen. Amen. But we're excited about what God is doing. We love yes. you all. Make sure you go and register for the uh, suddenly meeting in Indianapolis. Amen. And make sure that you register for the meeting in uh, in, um, Huntsville. Help me in Huntsville, mm -hmm. and then we'll have the Atlanta flyer out, and the uh, all the other uh, cities out. Even the one Jesus. for um, for Denver that's coming up in September. We'll have all of that stuff out. And so again, we love you guys. We appreciate you, and we thank God for you and for everything that God is doing in your life. Amen. We declare this is your sudden season. Yes. Nothing can stop it. Nothing can hinder it. Nothing can hold it up. Amen. 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 We love you. you. We'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.